Hi, this is Jay Thiru. You are watching this channel for technical studies. To get my latest updates, please click on the bell icon. Today we will learn about the simulation of off-way rectifier using with filter and without filters. First of all, what is a rectifier? Rectifier is a circuit which converts the AC voltage to a pulsating DC voltage. There are three different types of diode rectifiers are there. Half-way rectifier, full-way rectifier and bridge rectifier. Half-way rectifier is a circuit which converts the positive off-cycle of the input signal to a pulsating DC signal. The main objective in this circuit is we have to obtain the output waveforms and measure the DC output voltage as well as the ripple voltage by using a multimeter at the output side of the half-way rectifier using without filter. And we can observe the same for different loads. This is the half-way rectifier circuit without filter. The model waveform is shown here. The output waveform is obtained at the load of the resistor RL. And the input waveform are obtained at the secondary of the transformer. The components used in this simulation are step-down transformer with ratings of 230 volts at the primary side with 50 H. And the output side is at 6 volts. And we have to note here is the generally the primary and secondary voltage of a transformer are in RMS values. The peak value can be obtained that is Vm is equal to Vrms into root 2. The remaining components diode resistor should be placed in the workspace of the multisim. The DC output voltage and ripple voltage at the output side of the half way rectifier without filter is obtained by using a multimeter across the RL. CRY is used to obtain the output waveform. Now adjust the transformer coupling coefficient as 0.026 because we know that the coupling coefficient N2 by N1 is equal to V2 by V1. For obtaining the secondary voltage as 6 volts, we have to adjust the coupling coefficient as 0.026 in the transformer by double clicking on it. And after the completion of the wiring, keep the load resistor as 1 kilo ohm and then simulate. We may observe the output waveform in the CRO and DC output voltage in the multimeter. As well as we can change the DC voltage to AC ripple voltage in the multimeter and then note the value of the AC voltage. Compare these practical values with the theoretical values. As we know that the VRMS in the half rectifier is equal to Vm by 2 and the VDC is equal to Vm by pi. And the ripple voltage can be obtained is equal to VAC is equal to square root of VRMS square minus VDC. Repeat the same procedure for different loads that is for 10 kilo ohm and 100 kilo ohm. And observe that there is a more ripples in the output voltage than the DC voltage. In the off-way rectifier without filter, AC ripple voltage at the output side is equal to 1.21 times of the DC voltage. See here, the DC voltage is less than compared with the AC ripple voltage. In order to reduce the ripple voltage, we have to use a capacitor filter across the load. This is the tabular form. It will show us the comparison between the theoretical values and practical values for different loads. Here this table form shows that uh, ripple value is more than compared with the DC value. See here. This is the circuit for off rectifier using a capacitor filter. The circuit is same except the capacitor filter is used at the output side of the off rectifier. The components used in this circuit are a transformer with 230 volts as the primary side and 6 volts at the end. And a resistor of 1 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm. A capacitor is a value of 10 microfarad is used at the output side of the off-way rectifier. And a multimeter is connected across the output side of the off-way rectifier after the filter. And this is the model waveform of the off-way rectifier with filter and without filter. The charging and discharging of a capacitor at the output side of the off-way rectifier is shown in the second diagram. Here the charging process is going here and this is the discharging process of the capacitor. Here we will observe that uh, the ripples in the output frequency and resistance and capacitance value. For a fixed capacitance, the value of the load increases, ripples in the output voltage reduces. Connect the off-way rectifier circuit as shown figure and uh, simulate the circuit. Then we will observe the output waveform. Finally, we will say that off-way rectifier felt with filter gives a constant DC voltage than off-way rectifier without filter. And the off-way rectifier with filter the connections in the circuit we have to change the value of for load resistance as 1 kilo ohm and simulate the circuit double click on the CRO then we will observe the waveform and double click on the multimeter then we will get the DC voltage as well as the ripple voltage now tableize all those values for different loads and compare the theoretical values with the practical values from the output waveform we have to find the V maximum value that is Vm and V ripple peak to peak value 
and from these two values we can find the vdc is equal to vm minus vr peak to peak by 2 and the v ripple voltage vac is equal to v ripple peak to peak by 2 root 3 and compare these with the practical values friends kindly subscribe my channel to get my latest updates thank you for watching this video